Math Mammoth, Grade 2. Math Mammoth is a mastery-based math curriculum. It's open and go. There's a lot of conceptual learning, a lot of word problems, very good number sense. You do two pages a day, regardless of where the new lessons and sections start and end, which is good for kids because then they're like, I've done my two pages, I know I'm all set, or this is all I have to do for the day. You also do every other problem, and that way the review is built right in. If they need more practice on a section, then they do the opposite problems that they didn't do earlier. So that's super helpful. It comes in digital or print versions, and there's color or black and white that you can get. And she has online videos that go along with it. She also has other workbooks that are specific to certain topics. So you could get those as well if there's something specific that you want your kid to practice. All right, let's look inside. Time for a real page turner. All right, Math Mammoth, grade two. There's the A work text, B work text, tests and cumulative reviews, and the answer keys. The answer key has everything for the tests and cumulative reviews as well as what's in the work text. Work text is that the learning and the work is all in the same book, so there's no teacher's manual, which is really nice. The books go for about $21 per book as a PDF on the Math Mammoth website. You can also get these printed versions on Rainbow Resource or other places online. And there, the work texts are about $13 a book, and the other ones are less than that, or $40 for the set. And it's a couple dollars more if you're getting it in the color, which I really liked the color. I thought that added a little bit to it. Chapter 1 is some old and new. A little bit of review in there. Clock. Addition and subtraction facts within 0 to 18. Regrouping in addition, geometry and fractions. For second grade, the goals are to understand the base 10 system within a thousand. This includes place value with three digit numbers, skip counting in fives, tens, and multiples of hundreds, tens, and ones within a thousand. Develop fluency with addition and subtraction, including solving word problems, regrouping in addition, and regrouping in subtraction. Using standard units of measure, describing and analyzing shapes. There are also time, money, introduction to multiplication, bar graphs, and picture graphs that are covered. At the beginning, there's always an introduction to the chapter where it tells you what the thinking is behind it, what the goals are, some games and activities that you can do, even some links to online games. We didn't end up needing to use them. What was in the curriculum was plenty, but it could be a fun way to practice extra stuff. I like how everything is visual. We do have the color version here. Here the T's would represent 10's, the dots would represent 1's, so here we have 32 plus 7. They show it up here visually, and so the child can count it up. There are lots of word problems built in as well. Here they're skip counting, and then they'll color in the hundreds chart as they skip count, which is great. Then they can see the patterns. So there are lots of visual things included, lots of um, really having a good number sense. Some ordinal numbers there that they're talking about. At the end of every chapter, there is usually a review. Let's see, maybe not with chapter one. Oh, here we go. Yep. So at the end of the chapter, they have a review of what you've learned. And we do two pages a day, which is what they recommend, and every other problem. That way the review is built right in. You can see breaking numbers apart, giving little tricks, okay? How can we add up? Um, here, we're going to take 2 away from the 7, give it to the 8 to turn that into a 10, because then it's easier to add up. 
So lots of different ways of looking at numbers and approaching um, addition and subtraction, which is great because everybody has different things that work for them. And so the more tools that we have, the easier it will be. They do cover fact families. These are kind of fun where they'll start with a number and then you're minusing or plusing. And then at the end you can see if you got the right number, if you followed the directions. And some 3D shapes that they were able to cut out. They all worked. <laughs> A little bit of fractions. Okay, and the grade 2B work text covers three digit numbers, measuring, regrouping in addition and subtraction money, and exploring multiplication. Again, different visual ways to look at things and different ways of thinking about things and then practicing them. Sometimes there's these little extra things at the bottom, mystery numbers or um, little activities that they have. You're getting into weight and distance. Puzzle corner, that's what they'll call it. Sometimes they have a puzzle corner too. change. All right, and then this, the tests and cumulative reviews, I did not end up using last year um, because I felt like it was plenty what we already had, but it does have these, and if your kid needs extra practice or for your state, perhaps you need more, then they can go into these. They're short. They tell you at the beginning how to grade it. And then the cumulative reviews are at the end here. Oh, they do also have this end of the year test for the whole grade. So that could be helpful. things. Probably wouldn't do this all in one day. <laughs> all right. And then the cumulative reviews too that they have here at the end. They also online have um, PDFs that you can buy that are by uh, subject. So those can be super helpful too if there's just one subject that your kid is struggling with. Even if you don't use Math Mammoth, you can just download that and it's we've done that in the past too. That's how we were first introduced to it. We tried doing one of their sections and I was like, yep, this, this is working good. This is the answer key. So it has the answer key for um, all the work text books A and B. It's very easy to follow. It shows you the page number, what you're, what you're doing, the, the title of it, and then the page number, and then it goes right through the answers for that section. And then it also covers um, in the back. Let's see. 
the B work text and then it gets into the testing book that I just showed you and the cumulative overviews. So here's that, so for their testing, those answers are also back here and the cumulative reviews. But I didn't feel that I needed this for grade two, possibly for grade three. Um, I guess it depends on how much figuring you wanna do in your own head <laughs> or not, or how much time you have for it too. So a reminder that real life is messy and beautiful and better with books.